Hey, this is Research Indicates, and you kids get off my boat! Here we go. Load up the Let's Play, continue. There's that uh, lovely looking Bloodhawk back there. Hey, check that out. I think that is a... It's a windshield wiper on there. That's kind of cool. Okay, first things first. We need to fix something uh, from before. Uh, what did I call that guy? Oh, I missed. Mistake. Some of you have pointed out that the uh, the setup that I did on the Brigand is not terribly good. Uh, so we are going to take the Brigand here, sell this thing back, get rid of it, and we're going to do this one more time. Uh, I have come up with a better Brigand. Here we go. Fairchild Brigand. Uh, average, average, fair, average. All looks pretty good. Um, I am building a specific version of this for my wingmates. Now, as we all know, the wingmates never fire rockets, so let's drop these hard points. That's going to give us a lot to work with here. Uh, let's see, you got a 30 cal, 30 cal, 60 cal. Now, otherwise, I am fairly certain the uh, AI never runs out of ammunition, so let's, uh, let's get rid of that as well. First things first, engine. Let's get this up to the top tier engine. R800 looks great. Uh, secondly, let's see, 30, 35, 20, 20, okay, that looks pretty good. Inner wing guns, better angle of, uh, convergence and all that stuff. Uh, let's give them two 70 cals. Uh, let's get rid of this rear turret. Let's instead give them two more 70 cals. Okay, that could be trouble. Now, look at all this space we've got left. Uh, full thousand pounds remaining, so let's, uh, let's bump this up to, uh, Full 60, full 60, left wing, 60, right wing, 60, Jesus Christ. That's better than I thought. Okay, armor is excellent, top speed, it's good. I mean, it's still a heavy fighter, so what are you going to do? Agility, fair, offense, fair. It is taking the hard points into account here, so, you know, it's not too hot. Uh, guns, uh, let's see, can I give them maybe one more gun? 30, 40, uh, uh, no, that's too much. Okay, anyway, I think this is pretty good. This is a pretty good setup for a wingmate, but not for me, since the wingmates have some advantages that I don't. So, purchase now, bring it, bring it delivered. Great. Okay, now it's got that right there. Whatever. Next mission. Sorry for the late call, fellas, but we've got an opportunity too good to pass up. As you know, we haven't been able to afford to fill up the Pandora's tank since the Miles shakedown. But in one hour, a Russian tanker, the October, comes into harbor chock full of refined fuel to replenish that depot we blew up yesterday. Our plan? Ground the tanker and steal her cargo. Her path will take her by this lighthouse, which she'll use for navigation. First, we have to destroy the generator that powers the lighthouse. A single well-placed shot into this cave on the backside of the island should be enough to knock it out. When the lighthouse goes dark, we'll light up a decoy. The decoy will throw the tanker off her path and cause her to run aground on this sandbar here. That's when the Pandora comes in, docks with the disabled ship, and grabs the goods. Understood? Yes, yeah. sir. Pacifica has patrol boats in the area, so we'll have to take them out before the Pandora can come in safely. Also, the Russians have an escort zeppelin in the area, so expect enemy fighters as well. Now, once the Pandora has swallowed up their fuel, we'll need to keep them from tailing us. We can either knock out half of their zeppelin's engines so that we can outrun them, or we can set the tanker on fire so that the zeppelin will have to rescue their comrades. Either way, we'll still need to clear out any fighters before returning to the Pandora. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, okay. I don't want this plane. I want my sticky spacebar. Uh, but they are definitely getting the brigand. Seriously, this is probably going to be ridiculous. This brigand is going to get so many more kills than I will. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how this fury performed last time, so I am going to go ahead and keep it for next time. Let's see, flak rockets, flax. Okay, that's good. Slugs, explosives. You know. You guys were talking in the thread about slugs versus explosives. I don't know, uh, but in the interest of just making these fights last a little bit longer, I'm going to stick with the slugs uh, in the main gun. So maybe that'll just make things a little more interesting. Uh, let's see. Though this guy should have all explosives, I think. For the obvious reason of being effective. Okay, so let's fly. This is a spooky night mission, and regrettably, a water mission. 
Older games did not uh, render water terribly well, and so this is not going to look all that great. Flying along, flying along. You see the uh, the engines there. Did you know that on a lot of these old uh, old giant Zeppelin things, they could rotate those engines up and down to give uh, more maneuverability? A lot of these dang uh, Zeppelins actually took off like helicopters, point their engines uh, straight up and uh, and fly vertically. That doesn't look terribly movable, though. The decoy is in place. Go. We'll light her up when you disable the lighthouse. Over. Roger oh, look at that, this. Spucks. Heading for the lighthouse now. Over. There we go. Forced. Northwest fighters in the area. Watch your back. Over. Forced. Pirate fighters spotted south of the harbor lighthouse. Oh, All wings break off and attack. Whoa. Lighthouse disabled. Light up the decoy, Sparks. 10 4, Skipper. Decoy is leaked. Jesus. Shot one down Inside already. Heads up. Bogey. 12 o'clock. Throttle back. Throttle up. This guy's hitting me hard. Someone take care of him. Over. Next one, Blake Aviation again. Poor guys. Hey, what the? Oh, he was in the cave. Oh damn! I'm getting shot up here. Over. Oh. You on this oh. Square, square. Oh, direct hit with the dang flak. That sucks. Did you hear that? How honorable. You on that fire and square? Oh. You can blow up that lighthouse, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, somehow. Here we go. Oh, the Pacific Northwest. Very, very scenic area. It's beautiful out here. <laughs> Collateral damage. Woo. Okay. Uh, so, there's the Red October or whatnot. Uh, there is our decoy. So the idea is uh, to throw off that uh, tanker, get him to run aground because of our decoy here. And, uh, and then steal up all the aviation fuel that we uh, blew up in the last mission. Now, if, uh, if there was any doubt at all that that is a Russian Zeppelin, let's just accelerate and take a look at the uh, side art here. Yeah, it looks pretty Russian. Hmm. Not bugging me yet. Works for me. They are taking our engines. All damage control crews to maintenance six. Whoops, somebody will come out. Fighters. We are under pirate attack. Fighters launching now. Fighters launching now. Here we go. On your left, bogey at 9 o'clock. Hmm, these devastators are black. They will be difficult to see in the night time. Enemy aircraft in range. On your right, bogey at 3 o'clock low. Three of the Vostok's engines are disabled, Chief. Take out three more, and that should be enough to ensure that she can't follow the Pandora. Just a little too close. There we go. Uh, Trying to lose me? Over. Whoa. On your left, bandit at 9 o'clock. All right. Different gun. Tanker October, this is the Harbor Lighthouse. Be advised there are pirates in that area. They've disabled the lighthouse. We're sending a flotilla of patrol boats to assist you. Over. Thank you, October here. You are being maybe mistaken. We are seeing lighthouse fine. Over. Negative, Tanker. The lighthouse is dark. Repeat, we have no power. But I am now looking at the lighthouse myself. You must be telling American jokes. This is patrol boat Captain Jacobs. We see it too. That's not a lighthouse, you fools. Get that boat away from those rocks. What's a southerner doing in the Pacific Northwest? That makes no sense. Rocks ahead! Full reverse! Fire to starboard! Look at this little jerk. I'm hit the jumping ship! Over! Oh. She's this... aground, Chief! Oh. Mayday! Mayday! Tanker off over attention. to Vostok! We have run aground and need your assistance! Over! Yes, comrades! We are moving to assist! Nice shot, boss! We're going to have to delay our docking with the tanker until you take care of those patrol boats, boss. They'll tear our engines to shreds. Orc! Alright, let's take out some patrol yeah, boats. keeping on target. Over. Big John here. An escape boat just launched from that tanker. Looks like they're trying to get some cargo to safety. Pandora, 
This is Zachary. All the little pests have been cleared. Time to dock with the tanker, over. 10 4, moving into position now. Remember to keep those fighters off our backs, Skipper. Oh, Good hello. work. The Pandora can pick up the stuff later. On your left, bandit at 9 o'clock. Some real guns. No! Oh, what the? I lost him. Oops. Well, so much for that. There's my brigand back there, causing all kinds of trouble. Okay, let's uh, let's mess some stuff up. Half of her engines are gone. In that state, she'll never be able to keep up with the Pandora. Skipper, this is Sparks. Pandora attaching to the tanker now. Give us a few minutes to get the fuel. Fighter is launching now. I remember a bug in an older version of this game where, uh, oops, just a second. But I will be on you again soon. There's my brigand. On your left, Good boy. At or, or gal, whoever's Watch flying this thing. Soon you will be dead. That's convenient, being able to fly, fire backwards like that. Don't I'm you hit me, me. don't you hit me! Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Anyway, there was an old bug in this game where uh, the Pandora would uh, maybe had some old information on where the ship was supposed to be, but the... Um, the Pandora would dock way over there by the uh, by the old lighthouse, uh, and it would dock with nothing. The mission would proceed normally, and it would send a little grappling hook down and everything, and this ship would sit here, and they would get their fuel and fly away, but they were nowhere near each other, and it was, uh, it was a little much for a suspension of disbelief that appears to have been fixed. Sparks here. We're halfway done, sir. Keep those fighters busy for just a few more minutes, then we'll be out of here. This is exciting. Hey, with all these islands, I bet there's some stunts around here. Let's see what I can find. Let's see. Okay, we know there's a cave on Lighthouse Island over there. Uh, Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, it's a cave. We can go in there. I think. Oh. Impressive. What are you nuts? What are you nuts? <laughs> I'm nuttier than a cheese. Here. We have a full load. Disengaging from the tanker now. Like, what Over. Is this? Oh shit. Is Let's this, return to base this and a cave? get out of here. That's not a cave. Oh Welcome shit. Out there, shit, 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 shit. The oh, clear enemies. You are cleared to land. Well, that's enough stunts for me. Look at my wings. I'm going so dang fast when I'm sitting there vibrating and jiggling all around. Hey, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> What's this doing down here? That's not one of my decoys. This ain't the auto dog, I don't think so. Look at all this stuff. Let's see here. K 
Kill Bone Devastator, two Peacemakers. That's not very impressive, is it? Uh, let's see. Okay, got a photo from something. The people's so this is uh, this is standard uh, Russian propaganda talking about how badly they beat us and all that good stuff. Paradise vodka. Much alcohol, much numbness. You shall have no worries, comrade. You are in the glorious workers' paradise. The glorious product of the so of the uh, the workers' socialist utopia. That's great. That's actually a pretty cool little decal thing. I like that. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, that should be an outfit. You're playing with my new Nitro Booster immediately. Oh, yes! Okay, yeah, with the fuel and this other goofy stuff, Fassenbinder is now able to make uh, Nitro engines for us. Oh, my God. There are this many stunts. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, I got this one. It's very clear. Well, great. Okay, so that was that. Um, no money, as usual. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at that Bloodhawk from last time. It's a pretty sweet plane. And, uh, and see what else. He said, son, you're gonna drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. The Hughes Aviation Bloodhawk is the latest in a line of superlative aircraft from the nation of Hollywood's premier aircraft manufacturer. In an environment in which flying last year's fighter is a clear sign of social ineptitude and relative poverty, the Bloodhawk epitomizes the fusion of form and function, engineered as much for its deadly appearance as its equally deadly capabilities. It also happens to be one of the most expensive aircraft ever mass-produced, even when purchased without any of the decadent options packages. While the Bloodhawk is extremely maneuverable at high speeds, lackluster low-velocity performance and a relatively high stall speed encourage pilots to keep the throttle Peg. When flown within its envelope, however, the aircraft is able to employ its twin 30 and 40 caliber machine guns to good effect. The centerline mounted weapons produce a very long bullet convergence zone that lend the Bloodhawk a reputation for accuracy despite its modest armament. Today we've got the Boeing F-15 Eagle, a twin-engine, all-weather tactical fighter designed to gain and maintain air superiority in aerial combat. It is considered one of the most successful modern fighters with over a hundred aerial combat victories. The F-15 can climb to 30,000 feet in 60 seconds thanks to dual Pratt & Whitney F-100 turbofan engines that produce thrust output greater than the aircraft's weight. The weapons and flight control systems are designed so that one person can safely and effectively perform air-to-air -air combat. It can be armed with Sparrow, AMRAM, or Sidewinder missiles. The F-15 was also the launch platform for the ASM-135 anti-satellite missile in the 80s. The United States Air Force deployed the F-15 to the Persian Gulf in 1991 in support of Operation Desert Storm, where they accounted for 36 of the 39 Air Force air-to-air -air victories. The F-15 and all air forces of the world have a combined air-to-air -air combat record of 104 kills to zero losses. To date, no air superiority version of the F-15 has ever been shot down by enemy forces. Over half of the F-15 kills were achieved by Israeli Air Force pilots. The F-15 is scheduled to remain in service beyond 2025.